Bro, I was going just like. You got blood on your face. You big mistake. You big disgrace. I don't know. Hello and welcome to Shin Game Plus Fire Play Games stylishly. I've been gone for a while and uh, thought I might need to address some stuff. A lot of stuff happened in the last, what, a month and a half while I was gone? And well, let's start from the start. Okay, so I said I was going to take a break, a short break. Yet we have the last quality video uploaded a month and a half ago. What went wrong? Okay, so the reason behind the short break that I was about to take was because of a burnout. I simply felt burned out, not just from content creation, but from a lot of stuff outside of YouTube. What took off? What took off my career in YouTube and what made me upload twice a week was the God of War Iceberg video. Now you might say, two videos a week is not that much. Now when you couple that with the 10 hours outside working and so... Sleepless nights working on a video, sleep at 5am, wake up at 12pm, work even more for the video, go to work at 3pm, come back at 12am, rinse, repeat, repeat, rinse. And at one point I reached somewhere someday where I was like, what if what I'm doing just isn't good enough. That and being tired because I was working non-stop. And let's cut to something now. Fear of losing creativity. Kendrick Lamar has a track called Fear. He talks about his fears. One of his was the fear of losing creativity. And that was exactly what I was going through. Now again, couple that with the burnout. You get yourself a nicely depressed zesty. Who's zesty? Ahem. <clears throat> Me. I'm zest. The plan was to take a nice one week break, but what happened in the span of the first week just made everything worse. A lot of outside problems, family problems, family, a whole roller coaster of emotional, emotional damage, bad. and a lot more. Problems at my outside job, a job that I need to proceed at least a little further in life, and there it hits me, quitting my job to do YouTube full time. Was going full force with that idea ever since I started YouTube, but unfortunately, no. It simply can't be done. I live in a fucked up country if you haven't noticed, so I'm not gonna be paid enough to live a healthy life. And then something else was fucking me in the back, midst of all this. I went ahead and did something. The creativity test. Am I still creative? Can I still make good content? I tried that out. So I decided to do something that I wanted to do for a while. Rap. And for people to hear me as well. Not just rap for myself. And I thought, okay, now I have a platform. For gaming, I know, and it's still gonna be for gaming forever. Like, like, trust me, you're not gonna be seeing more music content from me. I'm just sorry. It's just this was this was just that one thing that I just wanted to do. I don't know. You might you might also see some little tit bits tits of stuff, but not a lot of you know a whole month dedicated for one project of music, not a whole album again. No. Then I started with the Eminem project, his relapse album done with my voices voices coming out of my mouth or claps or door sounds or whatever just completely produced by me wrapped on by me is that a word and now it's pretty much up in my channel i poured my ass into this project and you can check it out on the screen right now but i'm not gonna be including any links because i want you to watch this video right now and now let's get to the questions but come on zesty it took you a month and a half to make that you piece of shit no no. Problem was that I started off hot, started off with a lot of love and hype and passion for the project. And trust me, I'm proud of what I've done. Like, I love this whole 1 hour and 15 minutes. But it stressed me the hell out by the time I reached the half point of the album. I just realized that it wasn't coming to an end. I just wanted it to end, but it, it, it just, it, 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 it felt like a dick just not wanting to end. I don't know how that correlates with that. And so basically I was like, when is this gonna be over? And here comes the drama. The thing just wasn't fun anymore, at least when making a gaming video, a God of War video or whatever. I'm having fun with the thing that I'm making. I used to come back from work, record something or edit a video, I just love the thing. I still do, I, I, I love it more than anything now. But this whole album just fucked my mental in the ass. Like bro, trust me, I love the thing. Like I'm so proud of the final product, trust me. Shit's the most cinematic thing I've ever done on the channel. It, it's just so good, go check it out. And I take great pleasure in introducing, introducing 50 cents! It's bottle after bottle The money ain't a thing when you party with me It's what we into, simple So I was going to work, sleep deprived, tired 
coming back home just to be tired and just to ignore the project. Yes, this whole album I was ignoring for days. You had weeks where I'd work the whole day, 24 seven, literally 24 seven. And then you'd have days where I would just ignore it. I had weeks, not weeks, okay, maybe three to four days of just me ignoring it. I don't know, I just didn't feel like working on it. There were days that I took off. And in those days, I just played Elden Ring, and I recently bought Return to Arkham, the Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City Collection. I just wanted to play these games again, okay? The combat is amazing, the story is amazing, the pacing is amazing. These games are masterpieces. Elden Ring! What you're seeing right here is all Elden Ring. Maybe not that, but still, I couldn't enjoy that game. A game that I've been hyping for two years, that I've been hyped about for two years, I could not enjoy. Why can you not enjoy it, Zesty? You piece of shit! You could not enjoy Elden Ring, you piece of shit! Get good! No, get good! Shit, bitch, shit, get good! I could not enjoy the game because I had some stuff in the back of my mind. I was like, come on. The fans are waiting for me to come back to YouTube. The fans! Fans out here, homes! No, seriously, my audience that I love so much were waiting for me to upload a video. Zesty, upload video. Zesty, upload video. In my mind, I was getting mind fucked by Zesty inside of my mind telling me upload a video i just felt the stress man i gotta go back to youtube man i haven't up i haven't been uploading for a while let's upload this god of our ascension video that got 4,000 views for some reason and man the people who love my content the people who love me i, I cannot thank you guys enough like throughout all this time of me being of me being a lazy piece of sh not not that okay i was still working come on i was still doing the creativity test y'all kept saying take your time and all these kind words. I literally cannot thank the God of War community enough. I, I just can't. It's humanly impossible. Humans. But still, even with all the fan things, still, even with all the people that I love, that they love me and my content, even with all that, even with, with the nice kind words and all that, there's still there was still something in my mind hurrying me up. And I just wanted to I just wanted this project to end and it just wasn't coming to an end. All that, and I'm not even counting the drama that was happening in my outside job. I, I was running into some problems, friends' problems, you know, stupid 21 year old, year old old shit. So there I was, tired all the time, not willing to work on something that I loved at the start, feeling like the whole world is on my shoulders, wanted to quit my job, couldn't, not enjoying Elden Ring, a game that I've been hyped for ever since the dawn of time. Where to go from here? Now let's get to the everything fixed arc of this long ass video that I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna be watching up until this point. Except for the awesome people who would, of course. That, that, that those awesome 12 people, I love you. Thank you so much. Now, how did all this get fixed, you might ask? Okay, so I was going to quit my job, the manager disapproved and was like, you cannot quit because you're good and all that. We all love you around here. And right there, I felt kind of, you know, wanted. Not as in wanted by the police, like, no. I, I just felt like I was needed there. I felt I was important or something. Because I was trying to leave not only to work full time on YouTube, but also because of more emotional problems. He fixed everything for me. That manager, I respect his ass. Now I'm never gonna quit. I suddenly had a change of heart and was like, bro, maybe I'm not as stressed as I think I am. And it hits me. There. Right there. That second, it just hits me. I'm not as stressed as I think I am. I, I just thought I was that overworking and stuff because I was doing this album that I loved so much. I still love it. And when I finished it, I had the biggest smile on my face, but like, my lips were reaching my ears. It's like the Joker from Batman, busting through tears, unintentionally, crying, fuck me. And there it hits me. I can do YouTube and my outside job while still living and having fun at the same time. I just felt like I couldn't because I was working on this album. I simply thought I was this stressed. I thought I was this stressed. When in reality, I wasn't even half as stressed. Like trust me, I used to do two videos a week and some walkthroughs here and there while still working outside and while still finding time to enjoy myself. Okay, maybe not as much because I wasn't really playing that much. I even explained it in my walkthroughs because this whole gaming, the fun in gaming was kind of gone. Like it was kind of 50% gone because I spent a long time making content instead of playing, you know, you know couch playing. This is, this is a literal couch, no, I mean like a, and I was like, okay, maybe it's not that bad. So right then and there, I started working on the album in the old extreme fashion. I was like, I don't care how much this fucks me up. I just want it to be over. And I worked my ass off. So in conclusion, you had me who just started with the album, mind you, with zero experience in mixing and finessing music. 
I was bad, trust me. Like, it took long to learn and do the thing. So, yeah, especially doing doing the beats with my mouth. Bro, I was going just like... Ding, 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 ding. Then you had me doing the drums and the claps. You got blood on your face, you big mistake. You big disgrace, I don't know. So yeah, I started with zero experience, then breaking everything. Like I would have a week where I would just work for one day. And then the ending where I pretty much did maybe like six to seven songs in the span of a week. And here we are, I'm better now. Never gonna try this shit again. Maybe a song here and there, but not an album completely. This shit just hurts. God, I just found out that I still got it in there. That I'm still creative. Thank God. But seriously, it was exhausting. It was the most creative shit I've ever done, but thank God I'm still creative. Like that's that's what I'm happy for. I was like, okay, what what if I'm just not as creative as I was? Like, what if the iceberg was my peak? What if I just peak like Gohan and Dragon Ball? Who who knows? And then I I did this, and I'm I'm pretty sure I can go a hundred more years of just uploading videos. Okay, maybe not that long. But seriously, it was exhausting. The beat recording, the beat placement and fixes, the drums, the claps, the melody. Then the recording and rapping and yeah, mixing that as well. Never gonna do that again. I didn't even use a music studio for that. I used Premiere Pro, a video editor to do this. Cause I had no experience. I, just, I used Premiere cause it was easy. Cause I was familiar with it. I was just adding studio reverse to every single reverbs to every single track to every single rapping name and then surround reverb. You probably don't understand this. You might, but it, it's. I, Premiere Pro just made it easier, that's the thing. I, I didn't have to do a lot of uh, increase the wetness of this and the dryness of this. I did not do anything, thank god. I just, I didn't, thank god. Basically never gonna be doing that shit again. From now on you might not see a top 5 every Tuesday or 2 videos every week. I know, I know. But I assure you, you will see some good quality videos coming from here on out. I did say I'm gonna be back like a boomerang after all. But that was basically the idea of leaving my outside job and doing YouTube full time. That's why I said I was going to come back like a boomerang. Because I was about to do some content 24 7. Well, not anymore. I am coming back like a boomerang, but not a full time boomerang. So, <laughs> yeah, a boomerang over here, lads. But still, expect some of the craziest shit out there. Maybe one video a week, not counting playthroughs. Yeah, they're gonna be all over the place. I might upload a walkthrough every three days. I don't really know. But expect a lot of shit is all that I'm saying. Check out the album on the channel right now. I tried my best to make it as close to the real thing as possible. Tried my best to make it cinematic. I did a skit where it just sounded like, yeah. <laughs> I did everything I could. Hope y'all love the content from here and out and all that good stuff. It, however, yeah. has been your extreme game. Zesty. Peace. Damn girl, everywhere I go, same song and dance. I like the way you move all over the globe. Same song and dance. Something about it, man. Same song and dance. In the pale of moonlight. I'm looking at you, yeah, girl. You kinda took him back, but the whole rapper thing, aren't ya? Probably thinking you get slapped so dang hard, you won't even be able to stand up straight, aren't ya?